Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast. Uh, the problem reads, uh, determine the minimum coefficient of static friction between the uniform 50 kg spool and uh, the wall so that the spool does not slip. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Statics uh, textbook, 13th edition by R.C. Bella. Uh, we are dealing with uh, dry friction and uh, this is the force that resists uh, the movement of uh, two contacting surfaces uh, that slide or that move uh, relative to each other. So this is a force that resists two contacting surfaces that slide or move relative to each other. And the maximum friction itself is equal to mu, which is the coefficient of friction times the normal force. We have three types of problems that we are going to be dealing with. Three type, types of uh, dry friction uh, problems. And uh, all the problems that we are going to be working on are going to fall under this category. The first one is uh, where we experience no apparent impending motion at the contacting surfaces. No impending motion. On this, but in this particular case, uh, the number of unknowns, okay, is less than or equal to the number of uh, equations of equilibrium and once we do work out such a problem like this sometimes we are going to be required usually most of the times we are going to be required to check whether this condition holds all right and if this condition holds therefore we are sure that there is not going to be any slip at the contacting surfaces the second type of problem is where we have impending motion this is where we have impending uh, motion at some uh, contacting. Uh, this is where we have motion at some points. These are contacting points. Okay. So I've just not written uh, contacting there. This is where we have motion at some contacting points or surfaces. In this particular case, the number of unknowns are more than the number of the equations of equilibrium. Therefore, for us to have the right number of equations, we employ or invoke or use the friction equation F is equal to mu n. The third one is where we have impending motion at all all points these are contacting points or surfaces okay and this condition also for type 2 holds i mean this requirement this requirement hold also where we have number of unknowns greater than the number of uh, the available equations of equilibrium therefore we use additional equations from the friction concept which is f equal to mu n so in a nutshell this is what we are going to be dealing with okay so first things first let's draw the free body diagram for this one of course we are going to have uh the weight we'll have the normal force like so and then we we'll have this one uh, about uh, about this point. Let me call this point here. Let me call this point B. So we know to say about point B here, this particular spool tends to rotate like this. And of course, the weight tends to pull this like so. Okay. And to counter this effect, uh, or to resist this tendency, our uh, friction is going to be in that direction like so. 
okay so there we go and we are also going to have components we need these components uh, when we take uh, summation of forces in the x and in the y they are going to be these components here okay right we have this angle here which is 60 right and when we tension this particular cable there of course we do have some tension since this particular cable is tangential to the inner spool this spool has two diameters it has the outer one and the inner one okay so this uh, t this uh, cable is tangential therefore it's going to be at right angle to the radius about uh, the point b so let's call this as t okay and uh, let's call this one as a t cos 16 and this one is t uh, sine 16 then this one let's call it as na and this one is fa this one is w okay right so w is equal to mg 50 times 9.81 and this is just going to be equal to uh, 50 50 by 9.81 this is equal to 50 by 9.81 this gives us a 490.5 newtons okay of course this this count the number of unknowns number of unknowns how many are they we have one two three three okay this is n a this is f a and t and the number of equations of equilibrium how many do we have of course we have three so this is type one okay type one problem where we have what uh, no impending no impending motion mind you they are asking us to find the minimum static um, the minimum coefficient of static friction okay so we can solve this by the available equations of equilibrium so what we are interested in is fa then equate it to mu uh, mu times the normal force and a then find the coefficient okay so we want to find fa and once we find fa we are going to say this is going to be equal to mu s so that we find the minimum times na okay since we'll have na we are going to have this one and we'll have this one then we are going to find this minimum value okay so find fa using the equations of equilibrium so let's start so we'll say summation of forces in the x equal to zero uh, in the x-axis uh, what 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 do we have in the x we have uh, t sine 16 minus n a equal to zero okay then summation of forces in the y equal to zero going up in our reference we have t cos 60 uh, plus fa minus w equal to zero okay summation of moments about point b 
equal to zero and clockwise being our reference so here we'll have minus t we don't need to use these components when taking moments because t itself is already tangential right t is a tangential to the radius so it's going to be t times 0 0.3 okay and then we have a plus fa by 0.6 equal to 0 right so now uh, what we need to do now is to solve these equations simultaneously so i'll solve these two equations these ones simultaneously okay it's easier for me to solve those ones so let me write them so i'll say t i'll say t uh cos 60 plus fa is equal to w all right this is equal to w this is fa this is equal to w and then we have minus t uh, i multiply in advance this will be 0 0.3 t okay plus 0 0.6 fa equal to 0 okay so since I'm interested in finding FA, but I'll need to find also NA because I'll use it later on. So let me find, let me find T and come and find, okay, so let me find T first for me. So I'll multiply this by 0 0.6, then here by 1, then I'll say minus like so, okay. Let me find T. So this is going to be equal to T uh, cos 60 times 0.6 minus uh, minus minus it becomes just a plus 3T uh, equals uh point six w w is equal to a four ninety point five newtons making t subject to the formula t is just going to be equal to um so we have point six by four ninety point five divided by point six cos sixty plus point three okay uh, 0 0.6 by 490.5 okay divided by 0 0.6 by cos 60 plus 0 0.3 okay so t is also equal to 490.5 Newtons. So once we found T, let's find NA using this equation. We know that T sine 60 uh, is equal to NA is equal to T sine 60. Therefore, our NA will just be equal to uh, 490.5 sine 60 so this gives us a 424.79 uh, newtons okay 490.5 sine 60 is 424.79 so let's find fa fa we can use this equation here this one all right or oh, this equation there it is already which is this one here okay so we'll just say fa is equal to uh 
uh, w minus t cos 16. Therefore, fa will just be equal to w is 490.5 minus t is also 490.5 cos 16. So fa is equal to 245.25. Okay, Newtons. Right, so now we have this equation Fa is equal to mu s minimum times Na. Therefore, our mu s minimum is just going to be equal to uh, Fa divided by Na. Okay. And uh, we already know what FA is and uh, NA. So calculating that, this just gives us mu minimum, mu S minimum is equal to uh, 245.25 divided by 424.79. So this gives us a 0 0.57. 5.8. Let me round it off to 5.8. Okay, this is 0.5773, so just two decimal places. All right, so this is the minimum value of the coefficient of friction that we require at that particular point for to maintain or to, so that the slip or the, so that the spool does not slip. Okay, I think we are done, and uh, I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, give me a thumbs up. I like my video. Continue subscribing and liking my channel. Bye bye, and I'll see you in my next uh, screencast.